Coronavirus pandemic, more than 100 Luzerne County employees are now being furloughed. Luzerne County Manager Dave Pedry made that announcement this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy joins us tonight in Wilkesbury with the latest. Candace, today Luzerne County informed employees and collective bargaining groups that due to the coronavirus pandemic, they would be furloughed until May 31st. The flags are being flown at half staff outside the Luzerne County Courthouse. For those who have died from COVID-19, tragically now there have been 1,204 Pennsylvanians who have died due to COVID-19 since we reported our first case in March, and all of those deaths are currently in adult patients. Since April 1st, the Commonwealth has been under a stay-at-home order. We've given up visiting our loved ones. We've given up so much, and it has not been easy. The coronavirus pandemic can affect anyone's health. But it's now affecting more than that for a group of Luzerne County employees. Now, looking at our numbers right now, uh, unfortunately, we do need to do these layoffs. Beginning this Friday, there will be 128 furloughs of county employees. Our tax uh, revenues are not to the number that I would have liked them to be. In addition, we're just not seeing the income from our filing fees. Um, as well as some other areas of revenue generators. Seven part-time solicitors also agreed to a 50% voluntary pay cut. Now, this furlough affects 35% of Luzerne County employees, but it does not affect the more than 900 Luzerne County employees that work in life-sustaining areas, such as the Luzerne County Correctional Facility, the 911 Center, and the District Attorney's Office. The furlough lasts until May 31st. Finally, this is also about safety, and we don't need a large number of county employees engaging in a small area uh, in order to potentially infect themselves or infect others. Employees have been informed that the county reserves the right to extend the deadline if the coronavirus pandemic continues. Is there still people who are sick in our community? The only way to do this is to continue with our social distancing and continue with our quarantine uh, for, uh, for hopefully just a little longer. Furloughed employees will be eligible for continued coverage of county health care until May 31st. Reporting in Wilkesbury, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News. And these furloughs will allow the county to continue to practice social distancing guidelines and allow approximately $600,000 to be saved in salaries and benefits.